what's going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video today i'm gonna to be talking about the six common misconceptions about being an aircraft maintenance engineer this is some misunderstandings i noticed in a lot of people that ask me questions on how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer and what the process is and i'm here to address it in this video before i start this video i want to say happy new year to everyone that's watching this video i'm wishing you success happiness progression in this new year number one there is no career progression as an aircraft maintenance engineer i would say this is the number one misconception i've seen a lot of people having been an aircraft maintenance engineer and i believe i've addressed it in a couple of my videos on how you can progress as an aircraft maintenance engineer but i would you know repeat myself one more time as an aircraft maintenance engineer or any career in general you can actually leverage whatever experience whatever education background you have into something greater so as an aircraft maintenance engineer if you are that type of person that wants to work for let's say the government transport canada it's a really good opportunity to gain to most transport canada inspectors were actually aircraft maintenance engineer there's something i actually found out recently like six months ago but i never really paid attention to it but i've heard about it was actually the military right now the military are hiring a lot of aircraft maintenance engineer and i'm talking about the pay the benefits the pension you know you get experience to travel explore and if you're that type of person that always wanted to like work for the military or any type of force i'm saying aircraft methods engineer is actually a career you can use to leverage yourself into those positions so if you're that type of person that always wanted to be in the management side i am telling you you can leverage your experience as aircraft methods engineer to get into any management position so for you guys that are trying to get into the industry and you've been hearing stories of people complaining about the industry and that is because those people complaining don't have that mentality of oh you can actually get something greater like you can actually progress you can actually leverage whatever career you have into something greater and trust me you're going to hear this every time for you guys that are new into the industry when i started my you know when i started working in my first job I was hearing stories of people complaining like oh the pay is not good people complaining about everything and those same people complaining about those things are still in the same position and that is because they don't want something greater so i'm here to tell you guys for you guys that are thinking of getting to this career aircraft maintenance engineering or aircraft mechanic whatever you call it you can actually leverage your education and your experience into something greater number two aircraft maintenance engineering is a lonely job i would say this is one of the misconceptions i personally am guilty of i remember when i was in school i always thought like once i graduate school and i get my first job i'm going to be doing everything alone i'm going to be working alone trying to figure out everything alone and i'm here to tell you guys that aircraft maintenance engineering is or aircraft mechanic is a collaboration career so i'm talking about you're going to be having collaboration with the management you're going to be having collaboration with your co-workers planning all type of departments and this is something i love about aircraft maintenance engineer i'll give you guys something uh, an example right i've always been a type of person that i've worked in you know in heavy maintenance recently i you know i got a chance to work in line maintenance and i'm saying the collaboration here is so good like i don't there was never been a day i have felt like i'm figuring out everything by myself i'm always getting help from my co-workers from the management and this is one of the beauty about being an aircraft maintenance engineer number three you are expected to know everything from school i would say this is another misconception i was personally guilty of because i remember when i was in school i always thought that you know once i finished school i had the obligation to remember everything they taught me in school but i'm here to tell you guys that no you don't have to remember everything although education is a really good foundation to have but you don't actually start learning until you start working and that is when you start actually picking up your hand skills that's when you start picking up your maintenance skills and that is when you start picking up your troubleshooting skills and also and that is why most companies do have the 
this apprenticeship program whereby once they are uh, once they hire you as an apprentice for the next three months you actually work with someone that has a lot of experience someone that has his license so that way they can actually teach you the basic knowledge about aircraft system and the more you actually work that's when you actually learn more so for you guys that try to get to the program into this career and you still have this mentality or you're still thinking if you are expected to know everything from school i'm here to tell you no and with more the more experience you have the more you work that's when you actually start learning number four aircraft maintenance engineering is a career for only men i would say this is another misconception i have seen and recently a supporter of mine actually reached out to me and she would she told me she was like she's not sure if she can get into the program and that is because she does not know if she's going to be accepted as a female and i'm here to tell you that aircraft maintenance engineering is a career that is open for every gender it does not matter what your sexuality is it does not matter what your gender is it does not matter what your race your culture is it's a career that is really open to it's a career that is diverse and that's one of the things i love about this career path right because through this career i've actually learned more about different cultures through this career i have met really nice people from different genders and this is one of the beauty about becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer so for you guys that try to get in the industry and you're wondering if the career is going to accept you as your gender or your sexuality i'm here to tell you that i'm here to tell you that aircraft methods engineering or aircraft mechanic is a career that is open for every type of gender number five aircraft maintenance engineers or aircraft mechanics have bad working schedule I would say this is one of the misconceptions I have always disagreed on and that is because over the years I have worked in different places. Aircraft maintenance engineer as a career has always been the career that has one of the best working schedule I have ever had. And for you guys that don't know what most aircraft maintenance engineers schedule look like, most company actually provide you with this schedule called 455. So basically you're working 40s getting five days off working five days getting four days off working five days getting five days off and that schedule actually provides you with a lot of time to spend with your family if that is something you want spend with your friends take trip even get another job and that is one of the good things i love about being an aircraft methods engineer although you're going to be hearing people talking about yes you're going to be working long hours you're going to be doing 12 hours night shift for 30 years i want you guys to have this mentality that whenever you choose a career always look at the good side than the bad side and that is one problem people have whenever they choose a career yes you have to look at the bad side but the good side does it have more leverage than the bad side and you are going to be hearing a lot of people complaining about oh yeah i'm doing 12 hours night shift but that schedule actually provides you with a lot of time and also compensates you with a lot of time to spend with your family. You can spend with your friends. You can actually take a trip. You can actually have another contract job on the side to make more money. So for you guys that are trying to get in the industry and you're wondering what the schedule looks like or you're wondering if the schedule, schedule is going to be really bad, I'm here to tell you guys that aircraft maintenance engineering has one of the best schedule and it actually provides you with a lot of time to do things outside work number six you do not need any educational background to become an aircraft maintenance engineer i would say this is another confused misconception within people that are trying to become an aircraft maintenance engineer and that is because there are two ways to become a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer the first way is to go to school for two years then work as an apprentice then you write your car's exam to get your license the other way is to actually work as an apprentice for four years then you write your four exams then you get your license but you gotta understand that when you apply for a job you are actually competing with different people so if you're that type of person that apply for a job without no educational background 
you are actually competing with people that has that went to school for that course so you are competing with people that went to school for that program and for the most part most companies we prefer people that went to school for that program before they even start deciding people that did not go to school so you got to understand that you just apply for a job or because the process one of the process of becoming a licensed aircraft medicine engineer is to work as an apprentice for four years does not disregard people that actually went to school to get that education that would not prioritize you over people that went to school to get that education so i try to advise people that are trying to get to the industry try i know it's expensive like it's a really expensive course especially for international student because i paid a lot of money too to go to school for it but you got to understand that to get anything in life you got to give you got to be able to give before you can get back you know what i'm saying so try to go to school or if not try to get any type of experience that is kind of related to aircraft medicine engineering although it's going to be hard but you got to understand that most companies will prioritize people that have that educational background i hope you guys enjoy this video i try to make it as fast as possible and more educative i appreciate all the love you guys have been showing on this channel like i said my goal here on youtube is to educate you guys not to discourage you guys from your goal because i tell you guys this information does not mean you should accept all my information try to do your own research try to get more knowledge from other people so for you guys that are new to my channel and you need more information on how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer or you need more questions you can actually reach out to me on instagram that's at peter janet i'm gonna put it down in the description and also subscribe to my channel man i appreciate all the love i want to say happy new year to each and every one of you i hope hopefully you guys are having a great new year and i wish you guys more success and progress in this new year hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and do not forget to like share and subscribe love you guys